everyone to another episode of Austria where this is the first time we've been at peace for like a few years now literally we've been at war against nation after nation after nation after nation and it's finally time for us to just be at peace be at complete and other you know peacehood no one no wars no fa fa families no you know stupid things like a Brazilian war that we really didn't want to fight nothing like that it's time for us to just be peaceful and to you know start expanding a lot of our factories again because it's about that time again so I'm just gonna take a couple minutes off screen to go do that so see you guys in one second I took a little bit less long than I expected because like almost all my capitalists are starting to actually jump on the opportunity to do all this before me which speaking of which how many capitalists do I have in my country now <gasps> oh my goodness I actually have a lot of capitalists yes Woohoo! capitalism for the win capitalism for the win all right <laughs> Uh, speaking of which, I have a couple, this actually makes me kind of worried that I think my armies are now like really, really spread out. So I'm going to combine a lot of my armies together and then we're going to start separating them all out again because I feel like they're very separated and very much destroyed. Anyways, right now our most powerful vassal is Ukraine again. Uh, my biggest worry right now is that they might become too big and actually overshadow people. And yeah, we've... We've destroyed both France and Russia. We cut we cut France down to size twice. Twice. We really didn't need to, but we did. It was kind of like uh uh Wait what? One of the matters discussed in the treaties is what to do with the French colony. Oh we will take as much as we can. Uh fifty percent chance of gaining any province. Oh, 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 I know, this is like, oh, I see, this is, we're disarming France. Oh, we're finally disarming France! Oh my goodness, the Treaty of Paris, oh my goodness, Oxidanius actually did form, and it was the Germans, what the hell? Okay, um, we should, we should honestly take all the colonies, okay? If we must be fair, we should get all the colonies, because, like... This is technically, I mean, let, let's be real here. Let, let's be real here. We're the ones who have actual land in, uh, in, uh, in Africa. So we should be the ones to take, you know, most of the African colonies. Apparently Argentina is also around. Wow. Oh my goodness, the Ottomans got their land back. Wow. And Ukraine got some land over here. Wow. Wow, and then China, wow, that's just an eyesore. Um, I really wish I could, like, do some stuff with you, but I can't. Um, yeah, this is... We're gonna already start fighting this one. Because I don't like the idea that the Germans have anything in this sphere. Because this could potentially harm us in the future, and... We don't like to harm ourselves, but if we have this land, I think it'd be really good if we have... If we get it. Let's hope... Let's hope that we'll take most of the French land, so if we're going to be dividing the empire of France, let's hope we take most of the empire that they have. Italy as a sphere of influence, how close are they to the top? Because I'm not going to, yeah, let's just decrease opinion of like, who are they like really high with right now? No one. Alright, Germany. Decrease opinion of the UK then. Yeah! Yeah, we're fighting back to power, but yeah, look at that. In just one war, we basically dismantled all of France, and now the two greatest powers in the game are me and, uh, uh, transfer of the French colonies. Negotiations are still underway to which French guard will retain French colonies. We will accept control over... Yeah, seriously, just keep killing, keep giving us whatever you need to. Oh, wow, we're slowly dividing. Yeah, when they say slowly dividing up the land, they mean slowly dividing up the land. I hope we get this section right here, because I really want to link up my big, gigantic Austrian, Hungarian, Africa together. Oh, I also like the fact we took this land from the Frenchies. Wow. That's kind of mean. I'm not even going to deny. We took 
this land from them. Mm. We, oh my gosh, we took this land too? We don't even have any real reason to take Cheyenne. But we took it. Wow. Oh, wow. I am kind of a, a meanie. So, yeah, anyways, we're going to... While this is all going on, we're also going to create a new rallying point and start building up an army again. This time with the idea of dreadnoughts in mind. Just build constant dreadnoughts everywhere. And send them... In fact, just get like... I don't even know if we'll be able to create this many, honestly. I think this is actually way too many. But create that many. And then like... We can also get some submarines. Let's see. Then create some... Uh, African, uh, these things, and then create some steamboats, yeah, there we go, that should keep my men busy for a while, and after that, we should have a good military again, yay, but yeah, we do have to get Occitania on our side, because Occitania is going to be a very important state, especially to rival France, I'm so glad we got that done, I'm so glad they actually formed that, that was awesome, oh my goodness, this is why I love the West the the mod it's so cool and now since I'm a really big power I can start working on what I don't like and what I do like in my empire uh, let's just start collapsing a lot of the stuff we don't like in our stuff because we don't we're not really big on subsidizing our factories are we no Ooh, transfer we will accept lose yes wait wait wait, wait. what uh, transfer of the French colonies, negotiations still on the way which colonies will attain over control. We will attain ownership of... Yeah! We took, I think we took that land. Oh, oh, I see, I see. I think, I think I get the system right now. They're dividing up the land evenly amongst the people that participate in the war. This means that potentially Ukraine could become either one of our biggest buddies... Which, they already are our biggest buddies because they're getting all of Sudan. Which is pretty cool to see. But, it's also kind of weird to see that we will accept this colony. Yeah, no you don't. Yeah, look at this. It's just slowly dividing up the entire land. Jimmy, yeah, you better give us some. Come on, we, we better link up our lands. That's all I want to do. Before, we, before you guys... Yes! Okay, good. Okay, I don't really care from here on out what happens to our colonies. I just wanted to link up my land and maybe take this little part right there too. And maybe S Sudan can basically go to Ukraine. I don't mind if Ukraine gets it because they're kind of a sub-vassal of mine. Uh, yes. This, this is kind of interesting. Okay, we just took another colony. I'm looking, at, I'm looking at the rest of the colonies in the world. Okay, so Germany took all those. Germany basically took all that. Uh... We took that. Yes! Oh my goodness. Now look at our empire. We took that. We took another colony, apparently. Do we're probably going to take everything on Madagascar, too. So that's going to be good. Germany got this little part of Africa, which is fine. It's not exactly, you know, particularly interesting land to me. But, yeah, look at that. Oh, and then probably, most likely, Ukraine will get all of, uh... Sudan, which I am perfectly fine with. I'm perfectly fine with Ukraine getting Sudan, because, like I said, they honestly deserve it. Uh, for over here, we could probably we could probably raise one of these little tiny like empires over here to become the mighty Chinese Empire, or make the nationalists one of our like helpful allies. But I don't think I will, but because I'm having too much fun looking at this, and then this is probably going to become ours too. And then, yes. <laughs> oh my goodness, yes. Oh, it seems like we did take that little piece. Okay, come on, give this to Ukraine. Give this part of... Uh... Uh... Yes, please don't give us the part... Please don't give us that part. Give that to... Aw, oh, dang it, we took it. Well, anyways, I didn't really mind. If we have to keep taking more colonies and be the rightful and respected ruler of all this, that's fine with me. This is just awesome to see. Oh gosh, we took so much. Uh, seems like Danam even got some of its land back. Wow. Wow, Danam. I don't even remember you guys in the war, but if you guys did good, you guys did good. Apparently Japan starting its imperialistic desires. Kudos to them. Uh, wow, we just... Oh, we're being so mean. 
<laughs> like, as we just, like, woke up France into, like, nothing. They lost their imperialistic empire, and they lost half of their own land. Oh my goodness, me and Germany are just... I, I, I can't describe to you people how much I sh how much like just wow it's it's amazing let's just say that it's amazing what we did what we did to our friends and allies and what we had to do to survive and uh, wow speaking of which this is now my land too I completely forgot about that this is also my land so they also need expansions Oh my goodness. Man, we have level 5s and 6s rising up everywhere. It's so weird. I mean, it says, I thought I did all these places, but apparently I missed some. Wow, that's kind of lazy of me, which is bad. Wow, this is so cool. So very cool. Like, this is the reason why the popular demand mod is such an awesome mod. It's just the fact you can divide people's empires amongst, you know, the spoils of people is so awesome. And, like, us and us taking as much as we did is awesome too okay let's start spreading out start spreading out oh and by the way I'm gonna keep all my uh, I'm gonna keep all my fuel factories up and running oh my goodness wait wait they made southern Madagascar an actual colony ooh ooh wow I really am a jerk okay I'm gonna keep all of my factories up and running because I do um Actually, I probably should... Wait, everyone get back together. Wait, wait, I need you guys all back together because I kind of need to make a good round number for how many, uh... For how many, uh, actual tanks I'm going to need to build. So, wait, everyone get back together. Okay. So, I have 67 regular infantry and 37. Okay. So, now I know how many tanks I'm going to need to build. So, let's start doing... Let's start... Let's start this. So it's going to take me a long time to do it anyway, so... Let's start the integration of our tankish army. Because we need to start this. Just keep building lots of tanks. 28 tanks. Okay. So we're going to divide up the army again. And so we can build 28 tanks. This is the rallying point for almost all of our men. Set that as a rallying point. Move you guys over here so you guys don't confuse whatever army does come over here. Uh, you're rested. Uh, just get back to work. I don't really care. Just keep working. That's all I care about. Like, seriously, just keep working. I don't care about whatever else happens. Just keep working. But, yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We just, like... Oh, gosh. We did everything I wanted to do and more. Literally everything I wanted to do and more and more. And apparently we have some soldiers that we can delete. So, let's delete them. Yeah, just like one artillery unit. Wow. Okay. Move right here. And yeah, there's so much we could do now. So much. And let's see, do this. Move this along to do. Okay, you guys also move along. Let's see. I think this is now small enough armies to be broken up. So yeah, I think we don't need to break them up anymore after this. Oh, that's good. That, that right there makes me so happy of my empire. My empire is now insanely powerful and insanely huge. Okay, and we're going to close down that luxurious factory, whatever it is. Oh my goodness, there's so much we're going to have to sort through. There it is right there in uh, Austrian, Hungarian, Ghana. Oh my goodness, they even have Ghana. <laughs> oh, our industry shot up so much because of this. Makes you feel kind of like an idiot, but are we actually making the tanks? That's my biggest concern right now, because if we aren't actually making the tanks, that's, uh, you know, that is a problem that we are going to have to deal with. Um, if we aren't actually, which we should be in tank mode right now, but I don't believe, like, there are any, like, tank factories. Uh, what we could do for this is we could actually use one of our vassals to help us out in this manner by uh, investing casually into uh, tank brigades. So, for instance, uh, not Bulgaria because they seem to ha be having really bad trouble with themselves. Uh, 
Uh, Romania. So empty slots. I just need to know what crafts. Romania seems like it's pretty much invested into. Ukraine is still a secondary power, but it's scaring me. If they get any more powerful, then they could break away from me, which is what I don't like. I don't like when people leave me. Okay. Greece. Greece, 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 Greece. How you guys doing? Uh, we could open a tank factory right here. Let's just try it. Build a tank factory right there. And we're going to see if that's going to start supplying us with all the necessary materials we need. Crop rotations, I don't really care. I'm just happy that we got what we got. And I even had our little vassal of Ukraine. Ukraine, I would never have expected to become a colonial power in this game. And from now on, I will never, that will never cease to amaze me. It would disamaze me is the fact that they became a colonial power. Argentina is back in the game too, which is also weird to see. Like the, we have two African nations, actually three African nations, four, okay, really three, three independent African nations. Actually, this one I actually own too. Wait, what the heck? <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so we have a lot of factories now closing. Because apparently they don't like all the deals I'm making, even though I'm a pretty nice guy. Uh, you know, I'm going to keep these open just because I like the idea of them. I like the idea of being good in the radio and everything, especially in southern Somalia land. Let's see, anything else I need to do? No. Okay, then continue. Continue on as our army builds to new heights. And I think Germany declared war on... Yep. Did they go to war again? Oh wow. Germany went to war right back for the same land that they were just fighting for. This time, I don't think France is on it. Yeah, France is not in it, but this time it's just against Russia, and Russia is most likely going to get pwned because Russia is uh, not exactly powerful enough for this. Okay, why am I allied with Kokans? Okay, if it's some kind of stupid war cocaine, I'm not going to help you. Uh, sure. No, decline. I don't want to be allied with you anymore. Yeah. So, yay! Army defense, infantry, modern day divisions. Oh my goodness. Germany, Dutch summit, the summit uh, talks about Netherlands stalled and even... Okay, whatever. Ideological differences, it doesn't really matter. And so how that... So who are the great powers now? Well, as it stands at this point in time, we now have the great powers of me at the top, uh, second Germany, third is the UK, fourth is the United States, fifth is Japan, sixth is the Netherlands, and seventh is France. Oh man, we tore them asunder. They literally cannot recover from this. We basically destroyed their empire. And... Now we are influencing Occitania to be on our side because Occitania should become a part of our empire. Let's let's be real here. It would fit it would fit into our sphere of influence so nicely if they were a part of our empire. Like look at this. Just add them to our empire and we have all of lower Africa. You know what? We could also, just on a side note, invest into a, a little bit, a little bit into Argentina. Now, nah, because that actually spreads us too thin. Alright. Let's see. Well, we could give up Bulgaria because Bulgaria is already a part of us. Uh, I guess. Hmm. Now we need we need to keep our spread of Occitania because we need to start influencing these guys. Begin assimilation. Yes. Assimilate everyone. Okay. So Italy just became a great power as we just saw. <laughs> so. Italia is now a great power again, which doesn't really make sense. It really should. The person in that slot right there should be Canada. But I think we kind of destroyed Canada once we uh, made, once we sicked America on them. Canada, why have you not risen to like the great power status? You really should be in great power status. Unless America's tearing you up again, which I understand completely if that happens. But other than that, I do not understand. And apparently now we're starting to actually suffer. So I'm actually going to get back our economy to uh, reasonable tariffs and get back our uh, a lot of our collapsing in terms of factories and growth because right now we have so much growth we have so much growth it's not even fun 
Wow, Newfoundland just like collapsed. All right, I want to thank you guys. Thank you guys for the lovely time you guys have offered. Oh no, I didn't want to delete that one. I want to thank you guys though. Seriously though, seriously, I'm uh, serious now. Well, thank you guys for watching. This has been a fun let's play that we have been doing. It is fun right now. We are at the top. We are now the top dogs of the world. Everyone knows our power from this little point of Austria where we started out. You know, we started out with like this much land. We've expanded to basically, if we will, if we include spheres of influence as land, which I kind of do because spheres of influence are basically an extension of yourself. We have an insane amount of influence everywhere in the world. We could actually start influencing China, which I could start doing. I probably will start doing Africa is probably one of our biggest success stories which is how much we own of it we basically we finally expelled the uh, British not the British the uh, French influence from the land with owning all of Madagascar may I add we now own Madagascar so yeah this is like a great Austria and I'm happy to be a part of this great series that we have created for ourselves and I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.